This is Carl with Historic Military Impressions. Today we're shooting from the Howard Johnson Library. Howard Johnson was my grandfather. Uh, one I could not read when I was in eighth grade. He told me that, Carl, if you could read, you could teach yourself anything. And that started a lifelong journey with reading, ultimately um, taking control over my life. So I honor him by building a library very similar to the one that he had in his house when I grew up. But this video today, I used to do little photos of the item of the week on our Facebook page. I've decided I'm gonna start doing them as videos. So for our, this, our first one, I have this British number three Mark I release switch. Basically, it was a type of booby trap detonator that you could place underneath an item, like a book or an ammo can, um, or even underneath um, a landmine if they're trying to lift it up. Basically on the inside, you had this little hammer with a little firing pin attached at the top that would come down and strike this primer that would ignite a cannon fuse that ultimately would set off your demolition charge. Basically, you would set it underneath something, you would pull out the safety pin, and now it's spring-loaded and ready to fire. Let me put this back in here real quick. Um, again, very simple, very crude, but nevertheless um, effective. And I hope you enjoy this number three Mark I release switch as our first item of the week. Follow us on Facebook and our Facebook page for our exhibits is Historic Military Impressions or at HMI History. For our store, Kenosha Military Surplus, we're at HMI Surplus. We are also on YouTube at Historic Military Impressions. And until next week, this is Carl Bogar with Historic Military Impressions, and thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great week.